Hey guys, so um, this is my 10th Python tutorial video, and this is a continuation on creating a GUI. Now, if you have not seen parts 1 or part 2, um, you can see them if you subscribe to my channel and you click on my channel icon. So, this is part 3, and we are going to be continuing where we left off at part 2. Now, at part 2, we figured out the root.geometry, the title, and we did, um, we made a few buttons, we made a few labels. And they all had this command called dummy. And we're going to replace that dummy command with something really fun. So, you know how the text over here says countdown, and this one says calculator? Well, we are going to be putting those um, programs that we created earlier into this program right here. And call it whatever you want, I, it really doesn't matter. So, as long as, you know, it has all of these components, it will, it will be an awesome program, just trust me. So, define dummy. So, print, coming soon. Um, we can replace it, we could, but the thing is, we might want to keep it in case we make some more buttons. Because if we make more buttons and we don't have the time or um, knowledge to write the code to execute the command, we could just use the dummy function until we can write the code. So, if we want to make a countdown, we can just simply change this command over here from dummy to count or countdown, whatever you wish. So, define count. Remember, you have to use the parentheses when you do defining. And the thing is, over here, <laughs> um, I actually have um, created this little countdown program. And let me just correct that. So, this countdown program, I just typed it up just to save us the time and energy because we could just do a copy and paste operation and put. Um, this entire code, take that code from one of the programs and put it in this defining count thing. So it's pretty much putting a program within a program. So let us test this out. And remember, um, I almost forgot to import this thing. Remember, sys. Otherwise, it won't work. And because it's a countdown, remember, we have to import the time module as well. So let's run this thing. Run module. Okay, an indented block. Apparently, we did something wrong. Oh yeah, it's the while over here. Because it has to be indented under this while loop. So let me just indent this. See, the thing is with... um. With the idle editor, if you do a copy and paste operation, um, it's actually going to um, remove an indent. So it's going to be a little problematic, but <sighs> trust me, it's all worth it in the end. So we F5, Python. Ooh, nice! Okay, um, hold on, let me just find that one. Okay, here. Subscribe to LeadNet. Let's click our countdown. Okay, uh, okay, Python. Type in a message that can, that is to be displayed. Um, please like, comment, and actually, let's just do hello. Type in any numerical value. Five. Five, four, three, two, one. Hello. So that's pretty much that's pretty much it um, running. So yeah, that's pretty much what you're gonna have to do. Then you wanna all well, let's also make the calculator. Let's also make the calculator um, program. So we made this a command called calc for calculator. Then I. I also wrote this little block of code. Okay, I'm not going to save that one. And as I told you, it removes an indent. So be really careful because it has to go it has to be indented if you um are defining a program. Because it will only take the indent from the first um 
from the first line of code that's in that copy and paste uh, selection. So, define calc, and we have our calculator. Now, I actually want to introduce something to you in the button section called BG. And BG is essentially um, the color section. And in the color section, we can choose like many different colors. And don't forget, you have to separate with commas. And we can change it from the old dull drab um, gray to, a, to like a new splash of color. Um, and you can change it from different colors. Like, you can change it between different colors. I mean, I'm just using things that I think would be visible in this video. And, actually, I'm going to put up a link in the description box that shows um, all of the color options that you can put in the Tikinter module. So, let's run this. Nice! Oh, I love that shade of green. That I, That's just my favorite shade. Okay, so we have lime green. And we have our pink calculator button. Countdown. And obviously it's going to be the same. And actually, if you want to make a good GUI, you might want to figure out how to exit from this, from the program anyway. So let's create another button. Let's put the app. Then we'll do comma text equals exit. BG equals red because, you know, the reg exit signs and the command will be exit. Do not put, if you do command exit from, um, in lowercase, it will do a totally different thing. So I, this is why I do all of my commands in capitals. You don't have to do it in capitals, but I just recommend you do it in capitals. So exit, define exit. We'll just do system.exit. That's pretty much it. And I actually want to introduce some other fu cool functions to you called, um, it's another thing called break. So we, we'll do, we'll just do sys.exit and we'll do break. Now, if you do the break, you'll see that I automatically go to the previous indent. And that is because the break function stops the indent, I mean, stops that line of code for that particular indent, then moves you back outside a loop. So you can, this is one way you can get out of a while loop without having to go through like some rigorous process or something. And don't forget, we also have to do button3.grid. And there's actually something that I, that I forgot to show you in the previous video called main loop. And you're gonna have to do that because that, that just keeps the program running until an action command is pressed. Kind of like input, but it's not input. And I, if you don't have, if you don't have your main loop function, then Tikinter won't work properly. But in our case, it did because it didn't have that much lines of code. So that's what I'm trying to say. So that would pretty much be it. I mean, this video was just to show you how to. Um, you know, put programs within programs, and if you haven't checked out my previous bonus video, then I really do recommend you check it out. It might give you some ideas, and speaking of ideas, if you have any ideas to send to me about any Python program um, that I can put into Kinder, I leave it in the comment section. I will try to reply, ex but um, just try to keep it simple. Remember, I'm a novice just like you, so bear with me here. <laughs> so, um, as always, thank you for watching, and have a good day. Bye!